Emulation One of the most common ways for gamers to enjoy their retro titles. Emulation has been a forefront on the PC platform for over two decades, becoming insanely popular after two PlayStation emulators known as the Kinetics Virtual Game Station and Bleem were released. Today's focus is on the highly obscure PlayStation 3 console. With the PS3 now being considered retro, and a PlayStation 3 emulator out and about, can gamers enjoy their favourite PlayStation 3 titles on their computers? And if so, what kind of hardware do we really need to have a great gaming experience? PlayStation 3. A highly advanced, highly obscure console that was way ahead of its time. It was destined to change the way that we experience video games thanks to Sony's custom-made cell processor. Unfortunately, after an embarrassing E3 press conference, Ridge Racer! Poor sales, mostly due to high prices, and the console just being notoriously difficult to program games for, the PlayStation 3 is one of Sony's worst selling home consoles ever, trailing behind the PlayStation 1 that came out in 1994 and went on to sell 102 million units, compared to the PlayStation 3 at 87 million. And that's not saying that the console was bad or unsuccessful or anything, because as time went on, we saw really fun accessories like the PlayStation Move come out, and as developers got used to the hardware over time, killer games such as Uncharted and The Last of Us really show off what the PlayStation 3 was really capable of, as well as being the first console to support the new Blu-ray format at the time. And just like the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2 before it, it was only going to be a matter of time before a PlayStation 3 emulator would come out on the PC platform. And fast forward to 2011, the highly complex and very impressive PlayStation 3 emulator known as RPCS3 was released. And at the time of this video, 60% of PlayStation 3 games is playable on this emulator, which is just shy of 2,000 games. Not bad for an emulator that's still in the alpha stages. Within the last two years, this emulator has seen two massive achievements. Metal Gear Solid 4 and The Last of Us finally being playable on this emulator. However, according to the compatibility list, these two games are still considered as in-game which means they're going to have either some graphical issues or most likely performance problems. Although when we look at this piece of footage, that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case all the time. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you gameplay across three different platforms. The original PlayStation 3 of course, my main gaming computer with a Ryzen 7 3700X, 32 gigs of 3200 MHz DDR4 RAM and an MSI RTX 3070 graphics card and my 7-year-old gaming PC with an Intel Core i7 4790K CPU, 8 gigs of 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM, and a Galax RTX 2080 graphics card. Now yes, that is a little bit of a strange combo, but just bear in mind that the RPCS3 emulator is a lot more CPU reliant than it is GPU reliant, and in my personal experience, the more cores, the better. And with all that being said, Let's move on to the gameplay footage and see exactly what performance we get with these two platforms. Look at that. <laughs> An old 52. Mm, flathead V8. No doubt about it. Wicked old beast, ain't she? What? I said she's a wicked old beast. Me, I'm partial to something with a little less rust. But to each his own.
Dad? Daddy? You in here? You seem to be somehow connected to the nation. Where the pandemic. heck are you? We've received reports that victims afflicted with the infection show That's signs nearby. of increased aggression and... Move everybody out of here now. There's a gas leak. That's nearby. There seems to be get some commotion coming from... Get the hell out of here! Run. Does anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors, just... Just stand back there. Dad, you're kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. Some ain't right with them. I, th I think they're sick. What kind of sick? <gasps> Jeez. Jimmy! Dad? Honey, come here, come here. Him. Sarah, keep us safe. Come on, baby. Hold on tight. Daddy, I'm scared. Oh, no. Sorry to keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear?
Now, as you can tell from those three games, PlayStation 3 emulation has definitely been proven to be possible, no matter how complex the task may be. And emulation in general has definitely come a long way within the last two decades, consistently proving to console manufacturers that there's no real reason to not support their previous catalogue. An example for now is the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. Gamers have asked about PlayStation 3 support on both platforms, but Sony has responded in different ways basically saying that they're not compatible. Pretty hard to back that up though when a group of open source developers are able to create a PS3 emulator and emulate the PlayStation 3 all the way down to the cell processor codes that Sony created and own. Modern Vintage Gamer did a really good in-depth video about PlayStation 3 emulation, so I'll have a link for that in the video description in case you're interested. Unfortunately, I don't have many more games to try out since not only is my collection the size of a 6-inch roll from Subway, but they either crash very often, have loading issues, or they boast no improvement over the PS3 hardware besides the resolution. So I did my best to pick games that show a performance and visual benefit is possible on this emulator. I even went to my local EB Games and bought The Last of Us on PlayStation 3 just for this video, despite already owning the PlayStation 4 version. So what can we take away from today's video? Firstly, if the game you own is rated as playable on RPCS3, and you have a gaming computer from the last 10 years, you should have no trouble running those games with enhancements and maybe even experience performance gains. Just make sure that your CPU falls within the recommended requirements though. Secondly, if you want to play The Last of Us, Metal Gear Solid 4, or any other game that's been rated as in-game or is known to be very demanding, then a fair bit of brute force will be needed to get sufficient performance and reduce crashes. Recording The Last of Us on my 7 year old PC was very, very troubling for that reason. Crashing almost 10 times compared to my Ryzen Beast that crashed just once during my recording. Now, is this a full replacement for PlayStation 3 gaming in general? Obviously, no. We're not there yet. There's still a long way to go for that. And hopefully, we get there sooner rather than later. But when that time does come around and more games become playable on RPCS3, I can see the question of why are current consoles not compatible with PlayStation 3 games get asked a lot more often. And this wraps it up. Thanks for watching guys, like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already for more future content headed your way and be sure to give me a like and follow on my social medias, links in the video description and if I don't see you in the next video, it will be in the ring. Game on!